Yo, it's your boy Sun Cozen, and I just got done watching the Splatoon 3 Direct. I, I, I just got done watching it, Heath. I'm fresh off the boat. And I have to say, I'm disappointed a bit, but I'm also intrigued. What does that mean? Let me explain. There's a lot of new stuff, you know, new characters, new weapons, new maps, but it all feels like, was this really needed for a new game? Like, what? Are you sure, Nintendo? But let's start from the top. And when I mean top, I mean top of the hey, forehead. Yo, like, look at that chrome dome, mega man looking, mega chin. <laughs> it's like she looked normal and they said, you know what? Let's make her look really ugly. Let's make her head super, super big. And if that's the thing, she's not really ugly. I, I take that back. She looks normal. She would look good if they just made her eyes higher up. If that, it was so simple, so simple and clean. But they said, you guys hate pills so much. I'm gonna get you for it. And don't get me wrong, people are gonna talk about this. We may even grow to like her. But at the time being, everyone's just playing tic-tac-toe all over again. But other than that, there's a, we still have a lot to talk about. But there's more to this game than just the new characters. Of course, we have the big man fish and we have the other idol, but I want to talk about the actual game mechanics. And honestly, there's been a lot of quality of life uh, upgrades you know like you can you could do a dodge roll that's cool the clothing has been kind of upgraded a bit there's one thing i can say about splatoon and it's that they really do care about their clothing like they have magazines they they have everything in this game they have shoes sandals helmets they have literally everything in this game and that i can respect you know like it's rare to see games go this crazy with their in-game uh, costumes clothing they have their own brand and everything that i can respect and you can tell they're really trying to push the limitations on the switch like i'm still waiting for that switch pro but they're making do and i can respect that you even have lockers now but i'm gonna be real what's the point of lockers like just give us our own apartment kind of thing you know i think having an apartment would be kind of cooler than just a small little locker like imagine with an apartment you could like decorate it uh it's almost basically animal crushing animal animal crushing animal crossing you can like make a kitchen make a bedroom put up posters basically it could be your own living space that's what apartment is decorate it however you see fit then you can post it you know on the in the in-game splatoon stuff also talking about the in-game splatoon stuff what is the deal with a voice chat we have to get voice chat down man i why should i have to go in the phone download a phone thing that nobody uses by the way and i have to like literally talk to like five people just to make an in-game voice chat man listen if people are little kids, their parents can turn it off for them. But as an adult, I want to just have fun and talk to people, you know, and rage at each other. Maybe maybe that's what they're trying to avoid. But that's the best part of online, talking trash to other people, in my opinion. <laughs> that's the thing with this game. There's a lot of quality updates, but does this deserve to be its own game? Does this deserve to be called Splatoon 3 and not like Splatoon 0.8 like of course it has the story mode the story mode is just it looks cool you know you can't go wrong with the story mode you know if you, if you don't if you don't have online you can play that it's just all looks kind of the same Bruh. it has a new coat of paint but like throughout this entire direct i was waiting for that one thing that one thing to really stick out to me and i couldn't find that and what do i mean i was thinking like there's nothing that says you need to buy this game day one in my opinion like they, they have a new card game that i mean that's cool that's something other people can do so just playing the game i think that's cool they even have dabs and all that dances like they're trying to be like fortnite that's cool listen i'm just gonna be rambling so there's no gonna be like it's not gonna be like an order to this but like think of it like this there's splatoon 2 and splatoon 3. if i would if you would look at these two games what would they be different what what could you say is different about them other than the idols and that's the thing it's only little changes and there's nothing wrong with that per se but it's like whenever you hear the number three in a video game you expect a major step up and everybody's just talking about the new characters but it's like other than the new characters what else does this game have to offer and i don't want to be mean to this game you know because i i love splatoon i mean i like it i'm not like some kind of ultra fan though but you know i want to criticize this game saying how it's kind of underwhelming 
Like, I kind of thought that we were gonna we would be able to, like, go up buildings. Instead of just painting the flat ground, what if we could, like, paint, like, the entire building, like, three-dimensional? Like that blob game, you guys know what I'm talking about? And they're bringing back a bunch of older weapons. Like, every single weapon's coming back, which is which is cool, you know? Kind of reminds me of, like, a Smash Ultimate. Everything is coming back for this game. Old characters, new characters, it looks pretty good. But I want something fresh, though, you know? Where's the new? Where, where, where's, where's the thing that's gonna make me jump out of my seat and say, all right, here's 60 bucks. Take all my money right now. I, I can't, I need to get this game right now. There's nothing like that for this game. And that sucks in, the, in my opinion. And we can't talk about this game without talking about the Splatfest. Rock, paper, scissors. We got the big guy. Uh, what's, what's the other girl's name? Okay. The name is Silver Fry and Big Man. Who are you guys gonna, who are you guys gonna pick? Forehead, mask, or fish. I don't know, man. If you ask me, I'm think I'm gonna I think I'm I'm gonna side with the big man because Chad's in though. Know? We gotta be Chad's in here, right, my boys? Like they already screwed up her design and her. I don't know. She just looks meh in my opinion. I don't want to be too negative here, but I gotta go with my boy Big Man. Rock, paper, scissors. We gotta go with scissors. But I do have to say this. I like the new song for this game. The new song for this game actually sounds good in my opinion, you know? That's the one thing I can always say about Splatoon games I like. It's the songs they use for the, for the base game and for Splatfest. So I'm definitely gonna be playing me some Splatfest in the game. They just they made her look so weird what she looks like a gremlin i don't know man it's like her face is like lower it's like they took her face from looking normal and they took her face and they dragged it down they scooped her face like ice cream and they placed it in the bottom bottom of her chin and also they have like a cool like 3v3 situation but it's not really 3v3 it's like a weird like two it's still 2v2 basically because they have more players than uh the other two so it's like it's four people versus two people, so it's it's weird. And this may sound kind of weird, but I was kind of expecting a battle royale oh mode. Yeah, I said it. Listen, oh, I, I feel like that would have been really cool in this game, because like, how would it work? I'm not saying it needs to be like Fortnite. I'm just saying I would have liked to have like a free for all mode, you know? Something different, something to shake up this game, you know? Because after the two years of them updating this game, What's going to keep this game alive for another like five years or so? You know what I'm saying? Like when this game comes out, Splatoon 2 is gonna be dead. Unless you play for the story mode, there's no reason to go back to Splatoon 2 because this game is just a better quality of life game, you know? But it's like, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was just, I was expected to be wowed. It's kind of like the same problem I have with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I may make that its own video, but it's basically I'm trying to say is like, does it deserve to be its own game? Could this have all just been like a update of splatoon 2 I, I think it could have had this game all of this this entire direct could have just been like one big update in my opinion for splatoon 2 but it's doing something different so in my opinion what do i think of this game it doesn't look bad you know like the forehead it's a meme it's funny she looks weird though you know but it, it's nothing that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lose any sleep over it you know it, it, it's, it's kind of funny you know it gets people talking about the game and i like that i just i can't get hyped over this game i was waiting for for this directing i was waiting to get hyped i was waiting for them to show me something good but it, it never happened the, the splat run whatever it's called where you get the eggs it's cool you know but it looks exactly the same from the second game it still looks orange you have like boss monsters too which is it's different but it's like it looks the same change things up you know this is the third installment you gotta go crazy you know go crazy or go home like but other than that i this game does not look bad you know but i'm it's underwhelming in my opinion i and I just gotta say it, you know? People are saying how good this game looks and how it looks amazing, but it just looks okay. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? You may like the game. This game, you may think this game looks amazing in your opinion, and hey, that's totally fine. But in my opinion, it looks like this game doesn't look like it, it was needed. There's gonna be DLC for this game, so maybe they're gonna bring out the heat then, maybe? I'm not sure. But other than that, I think I'll check out this game, though. There's gonna be an open beta, open splat fest. I'm gonna go with scissors because of my boy, the big guy. My opinion may change of that though so i'm definitely gonna play that for the channel so if you guys want to see me play the splat fest make sure to subscribe to keep up to date because you know i'm trying something new here i'm trying to branch out do new things talk about new things i'm excited
excited for the future, my boys. I'm on that YouTube grind. But tell me what you guys think down below. Are you guys hyped about this game? Are you guys excited? Because honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like I need to... I feel like it, this game is underwhelming. I want apartments. Other than that, this game can really still change my opinion. So maybe when the new Splatfest comes out, I can play that game and see for myself if I really do want to buy this game. Then maybe, maybe I will. So make sure to, you guys stay tuned for that because I'm going to destroy people. What do you guys think, okay? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I will, I will spawn. I'm your boy, Sun Cozen. I'll see you guys later, okay? Peace, my boys.